Welcome to Casa de Mi Casa. I was um, watching the uh, one of the recent videos I uploaded about wiring the new transmission harness, uh, modifying the old one to the new transmission harness, and uh, I uh, realized I didn't really get into enough detail. I was just kind of going quick and getting her done and videoing while I was working. But for those of you like me that like to know kind of how stuff works, um, I thought this might be a little helpful. We'll look up some diagrams and watch some of the parts I was talking about. I wanted to start off by uh, reading a passage from the class by uh, reading a passage from the Red Book, otherwise known as the Bible, otherwise known as Lincoln Marker Owens Manual. Let's read. The transmission rain sensor incorporates a series of step down resistors which act as a voltage divider. The processor monitors this voltage which corresponds to the position of the manual control motor. So, it also says, the transmission range sensor determines desired gear and EPC pressure. The transmission range sensor also contains circuits for parking plane backup lamps. So, that is super helpful. So for those of you that didn't know, the range sensor has a bank of resistors which uh, modify the voltage, which then gets uh, monitored by the uh, PCM. Um, fortunately, um, we were able to get rid of that. I am not quite as familiar with that portion of it on the tuning side. I don't know if we ever tuned some of that out, but uh, you know, I, like I said, I had someone do that right in the middle of tune for that. Um, but I think most of that input is for, um, through the resistors, is for the transmission safety switch, um, of course, gets uh, um, gets powered at the start, does power into the range sensor, uh, thus, once the um, transmission is in either park or neutral, allows power to go through that switch and engage the starter relay, thus starting the vehicular. So, uh, another portion that we used gear, uh, it would send power through that portion of the switch and power the backup lamps. Now, there is a just a regular backup lamp switch, uh, two wires on the new uh, TR3650, so that was pretty simple. We were able to just wire both of those leads into the new sensor on that transmission. So hopefully that kind of uh, is a little better description on the So um, on this diagram, this isn't exact. This isn't a Lincoln diagram, I should say. This is just a general Ford diagram. Um, so this, not all this pertains, but um, for the most part, what I wanted to show you that that stuff I just described is correct. Um, another piece of wiring on the old uh, transmission. Here's the original 4R70W. side or uh, the left side it's considered um, this sensor right here the output shaft sensor is um, that is for transmission control um, specifically so Ford had um, used two sensors back in the day I, I'm not quite sure why they ended up integrating these two for into one but this one doing a manual transmission swap you can get rid of because it was an input specifically for turning the control to the PCM. This one, which I kept and modified the wiring uh, for the new um, connector, I believe the connector is the same actually, now that I'm thinking about it. I may just have, may have had to just extend it or something, but um, that's 
attach your vehicle speed sensor that is an input for the speedometer as well as the engine control so portion of the PCM so that's what you need to uh, keep as far as wiring goes um, the rest is uh, can be just ditched and then get sorted out with tuning um, so for everything yeah hopefully that uh, is a little bit uh, more in depth and It. Hope that was helpful. Freaking rights. Um, like and subscribe for more. The car's done. Runs perfectly. Um, but there's still a couple more videos to go, obviously. Um, so, stay tuned.